Today we're going to create a simple animated Christmas postcard in Canva. So first of all I'll go to video and then I'll go to video landscape. Now the first thing I want to do is to go and find an audio. So down the bottom here I'll click add audio and I'm going to type in jingle bells and we're going for an instrumental music like this one. So I'll add that in and I want it to be 16 seconds long because there's a particular part of the song that I'm wanting to play. So to make it 16 seconds long I need to add a page blank and increase that to about 16 seconds and then I'll play the music through. So I want to begin around here and so you crop it into where you want it to begin and then you pull it back and it will begin from that place. And I want it to finish there so I'll crop it in again and crop the page in. Now I'm going to find a background for the postcard so I'll go to elements, go to videos and I'm going to type in golden glitter snowflakes trail animation. This is the one I want to go for here and if I play it through you'll see that we've got this particle of snowflakes darting around the page. So I'm going to move this up to this top row here and then I'm going to click on it and I'll create another one. So I'll go to the three dots, click duplicate and I'll just move it along a bit to about here. I'll click on the video, go to animate and scroll down and add a fade animation in. It can go fairly quickly and we just need to make sure that this is at the centre of the page as with this one too so it covers the whole screen and then finally we just want to do this one more time so that we're getting to the end of the song so click duplicate and just add a short piece on the end make sure it's in the centre of the page and then again go to animate and make sure the fade is on for that one too so you'll get a repeating pattern of this going through the video until you come to the end so that we've constantly got that background in place. At this point I'm going to click on this background image here and just change the background to black and I'm going to click on this first one go to transparency and just bring it down slightly only to about 75. Do that for the second one and finally for the third one now we want to start adding in some of the other elements to the video. So as this particle darts around the screen I want various elements of the postcard to come into view as it's doing that and the first one is going to be a Christmas tree. So I'm going to mute the music for now so I'll click on that and just click here and click mute and I'm going to watch as the particle goes around the screen and I'm going to put in different elements on its journey. So the first one will be here as it comes around. I'm going to put in a golden Christmas tree. So we'll go back under elements. We'll click on graphics and I'll type in golden Christmas tree. We'll scroll down and I'm going to go for this one here. And we'll just enlarge it a bit. Place that here in the image. And then we want this to appear at this particular point in the video. So we've put it here to begin with, it needs to be all the way to the end of the video. So click and pull it to the end to meet with the other elements. And then we'll go to animate, scroll down to gradient, and we want to set it to just on enter and circular. So as we play this, you should see that the tree appears 
as the golden lights going across. Now the next thing I want to do is to add some text that's going to appear soon after. So I'll go to text, click add a heading, change the font to Brittany and I'm going to change the color to yellow. I'm then going to go to effects and add a lift and put that to 100% and now I'll type in Merry Christmas just enlarge that text and I'll place it up the top here now just to make it stand out a bit more I'm going to duplicate this a few times layer five on top of each other and that'll help the lift to be more prominent on the picture so I'll duplicate once and do this about five times Now go to position, go to layers, click on the first Merry Christmas, hold down shift and click on the last one, then right click, say download selection, download as a PNG with a transparent background and we can put the quality up a little bit and click download. We'll now put that into the slide and we can click on this one here, hold down shift, click on all of those and press delete. So we've just got this one left now. Now we want to increase the size of this and crop it in until it's where we had the words before. And then we can go to animate, again scroll down and go to gradient, on enter and circular. And then we want this to come in soon after the Christmas tree. So the Christmas tree comes in and then at this point we want the words to start coming in and again they need to reach all the way to the end of the page so you'll have Christmas tree followed by the words now for the next element I'm going to create one using AI so we'll go to elements we'll click back and then here I'm going to use this generate images button so up here I'm going to write a prompt and I'm going to paste that prompt in and it says a 2D Christmas present made from golden particles of light put it on a black background which can be removed and then I'll click generate images so these are the images that it's created and so I'm going to go for this one here and then I'll click remove background and we can place that into the image crop in a little bit and this is up to you but I'm going to go to transparency and just take that down slightly make it a little bit darker and again with this one we want to go to animate then we'll scroll down to gradient and on enter and circular and then we want this to appear as the particles make their way back so about here the particles will fall down and the present will appear so it's actually in the right place already but we want to take it all the way to the end when the particles come back again here this is where we want our final text to appear so I'm going to go back to text click add a heading change the font to Brittany and I'm going to begin by writing to my friend make it slightly bigger and then duplicate love from me so I'll bring this over to an angle here click on both of them click on one hold down shift click on the other and just actually make them a little bit smaller place them about here and then we want to right click with both of them selected download selection download as a PNG put the quality up with a transparent background and download once we've done that we can bring that new one across and we'll delete these two put the new one in place and this text that you're creating here is customized to whatever you want it to say and this is the final one we want to appear so we'll just play through the video the present appears and then it comes back and it's going to put the words in so we'll put this up to there 
make it last to the end of the video click on animate go down to gradient and have the circular fill on enter again and now we're going to watch the whole video with the sound on and we'll see what it looks like Now to save your video go to share, download, download as an mp4 and choose the quality that you want and then click download. And that's how to create an animated Christmas postcard in Canva. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you today. Please do subscribe to the channel to learn more about Canva.